Lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are small bean shaped structures that are part of lymphatic system, which is responsible for filtering and transporting lymph fluid and immune cells throughout the body. There are hundreds of lymph nodes located throughout the body, but they are most commonly found in the neck, armpits, and groin. Lymph nodes play an important role in the immune system by filtering out harmful substances such as bacteria and viruses and producing immune cells to fight infection. When the body is fighting an infection or disease, the lymph nodes may become swollen and tender as they work to produce more immune cells. Hello friends, you are watching our YouTube channel, Diagology. In some cases, swollen lymph nodes can be sign for of a more serious condition such as cancer. If you notice persistent swelling, pain, or other unusual symptoms around your lymph nodes, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider for an evaluation. Swollen lymph nodes can be caused by a variety of factors, including number one, infection. The most common cause of swollen lymph nodes is an infection, such as a cold, flu, ear infection, or tooth abscess. Number two, inflammatory conditions, autoimmune disease such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis can cause swollen lymph nodes as the body immune system attack its own tissues. Cancer Swollen lymph nodes can be a sign of certain type of cancer such as lymphoma or leukemia. Medications Certain medications such as those used to treat scissors and or HIV can cause swollen lymph nodes as a side effect. Number 5 Allergic Reactions Severe allergic reactions can cause swelling of the lymph nodes, especially in the neck and throat. Number six, stress. Prolonged stress can weaken the immune system and cause inflammation, which can lead to swollen lymph nodes. If you have swollen lymph nodes that are painful, persistent, or accompanied by other symptoms, such as fever, night sweat, or weight loss, it is important to see a healthcare provider for an evaluation. They may recommend tests such as blood tests or imaging studies to determine the cause of the swelling. The most common symptoms of swollen lymph nodes in the presence of one or more large, firm and tender lymph nodes, which can be felt just beneath the skin in areas such as neck, armpits or groin. Other possible symptoms include number 1. Pain or tenderness in the affected area. Number 2. Redness or swelling around the affected area. Number 3 fever and chills. Number 4 fatigue and malaise. Number 5 night sweats. Number 6 unexplained weight loss. Number 7 sore throat. Number 8 runny or stuffy nose. Number 9 coughing or difficulty breathing. Number 10 skin rashes or itching. It's important to note that the solar lymph nodes themselves are not a disease but rather are symptoms of an underlying condition. If you notice that Sural lymph nodes are persistent, painful, or accompanied by other symptoms. It's important to see a healthcare provider for an evaluation to determine the underlying cause and appropriate treatment. There are several imaging modalities that can be used to diagnose solar lymph nodes, including number one, ultrasound. This is non-invasive imaging technique uses high frequency sound waves to create images of the lymph nodes and surrounding tissues. It can be used to determine the size and location of the lymph nodes and to identify any abnormalities such as cysts or tumors. CT scan. This imaging test uses X-rays and computer technology to create detailed cross-sectional images of the body. It can provide a more detailed view of the lymph nodes and surrounding structures and can help to identify any abnormality or change in the lymph nodes. Number 3 MRI. This imaging test uses a strong magnetic field and radio waves to create detailed images of the body. It can be particularly useful for imaging lymph nodes in certain areas such as the abdomen and pelvis. Number 4. PET scan This imaging test involves the injection of a radioactive tracer into the body. 
which is taken up by cells that are metabolically active such as cancer cells. A PET scan can help to identify areas of the increased metabolic activity which may be a sign of cancer or other condition. The choice of imaging modality will depend on the individual case and the suspected underlying cause of the swollen lymph nodes. Your healthcare provider will determine which imaging test is most appropriate for your situation. Treatment options. The treatment options are for swollen lymph nodes depend on the underlying cause. In many cases, swollen lymph nodes which will go away on their own as the body fight of an infection or other condition. However, if the solar lymph nodes are persistent or caused by a more serious condition, treatment may be necessary. Here are some common treatment options. Number 1. Antibiotics If the solar lymph nodes are caused by a bacterial infection such as a strep throat or an infected wound, antibiotics may be prescribed to treat the underlying infection. Number 2. Anti-inflammatory medication Over-the-counter pain relievers such as ibuprofen or aceto such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen can help to reduce pain and inflammation associated with solar lymph nodes. Number 3. Radiation Therapy or Chemotherapy If the solar lymph nodes are caused by a cancer, radiation therapy or chemotherapy may be necessary to shrink or eliminate the cancer cells. Number 4. Surgery In some cases, surgery may be necessary to remove the solar lymph nodes or a portion of the tissue or for biopsy. Number 5. Treat the underlying condition. If the solar lymph nodes are symptom of an underlying condition such as autoimmune disorder, the underlying condition may need to be treated in order to relieve the symptoms. It is important to work with a healthcare provider to determine the underlying cause of solar lymph nodes and to develop an appropriate treatment plan. Thank you.